Well, hello everyone. Here to show you right here. Talk about support right here. You know what does it usually mean uh, when uh, we support something and when uh, we uh, you know show support uh, for somebody? And uh, most of the time, I hear, you know people probably think as to where that that usually means assistance, right? I'm like, yo, yeah, support can be. Uh, you know, a number of things, really, you know, when we talk about maybe for psychology and social working or something like that, just trying to get a better understanding, and a lot of times it sure seems that way, that it all starts just by saying is to where that, you know, how much that you really care, you know, and you really show concerning about for somebody, and, uh, like, people might even think, too, is to where that, yeah, you know, I, uh, you know, include right here is this image right here talk about with the brain right there and like everybody else will probably say too that um that yeah you know if it's if the whole part about psychology is really just mainly focused about the brain or could also be uh, maybe the heart and then maybe also uh, you know other you know like yeah you know any other source of emotional feeling or like you know, talk about you know, besides the basic body parts or anything like that but but let's just say that I uh, include right here is the brain, just mainly just to study about the brain. But I, I actually uh, wanted to actually talk about it, actually just a little bit like uh, mainly about like um, about the sleeping portion of it. And, you know, talking about uh, when uh, we do sleep at night, and like anybody probably say too that uh, you know the psychology study of science and uh, knowing about you know for sleeping and. Uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about that support though that we also think about is, is that yeah that you know whenever you're resting though that you typically think uh is to where the yeah you know uh, just understanding about um the source of language for what goes on and like anybody say too that you yeah well you know while when you while you're resting are you really healing or that you know for what exactly what is it that your mind's thinking whenever you are sleeping and so so a lot of times it sure seems that way that the way we think about that though is that the typical science study is that um that while we're sleeping of course that we're dreaming right and uh so it sure seems that way that um uh, that when we think about psychology though and uh, support though that it's like you know yeah that what does it basically mean uh, Whenever you show support, and then when we, when we think about support, it's another way of how you want to call us is to where, yeah, it's, you know, call that for assistance. It's another way of uh, of how you want to you know, call it is to where, yeah, that, um, you know, somebody is uh, yes, on standby. I'm like, you know, standing by, uh, kind, of, kind of like on standby, but then also another word of how you want to call it is like, you know, showing, uh, you know, showing, uh, your ability uh, for assistance. So let's just say that, uh, you know, if we're talking about maybe for the seniors and maybe if we're also talking about, uh, you know, a lot of times that, you know, it could be uh, maybe uh, you know, people with uh, disabilities or, you know, anything like that. But let's just say that uh, if we're also talking about is this toward the, yeah, that, you know, that the one thing that I really want to talk about mainly is understanding about you know for psychology though I'm like you know talk about for you know for support right here is mainly about is that uh, to word that uh, that yeah you know one know about is this to word about you know, how uh, I'll go and put a capital right there for how um, how many uh, who um, are counting on you to do the job. For that work, so let's just say if you were say something like that, for how many people who are counting on you for that, you know, for that task, and I can just say for that task, it it could also be a job or some sort, but but you'll talk about for support right here, and uh, so I have right here is this a uh, example right here, this brain right here, and like uh, people by thinking too toward it, yeah, well, really that. Uh, you know, support can mean a number of things, but you know, mainly like the study about the brain, about the mind, the typical mind thinking. So the way we think about that, Bo, we talk about with the brain right here, and people think is to word, yeah, well, you know, really, it, uh, that, you know, when we think about the brain, though, that a lot of times it seems like it's all about, like, the communication, you know, the way the, the mind communicates and the way that we're able to read each other's minds. So let's just say that if we're talking about particular you know, 
you know, like an HTML document or anything like that about that for how uh, we're able to study about what people are thinking and then, uh, you know, how they interact with each other and, you know, they, 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 that, sort, that sort of stuff. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that, that what does it usually mean is to where, like, uh, people might think is to where, the, yeah, well, you know, really that, uh, that let's just say that if one person is being assigned a job, right, but then, you know, about 14 people that show support, right? So let's just say one person is asked uh, to, you know, to work on a task, right? But then, you know, you, you know, others show support. So what does that usually mean whenever one person is working a job, but then others show support? Well, a lot of times it's like, yeah, well, what that really means is toward, yeah, well, you know, this team of supporters is actually, you know, I'm like, yeah, that, that they're making the work a lot uh, less uh, harder for you. So I guess uh, in a lot of ways, uh, it pretty much means is toward, yeah, that, um, you know, just to be able to show support is that means is toward it. It's less hard. It's less harder, you know, for, for someone um, to uh, overcome those, uh, I'm like, you know, yeah, you know, to, to do those challenges. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, a way of how you want to show support is toward that, that you know, less uh, harder for someone uh, you know, to to do those challenges. So as so you say, you know, to make it just to make it uh, a lot easier. And uh, another way of how you want to cause is to word it whenever you show support for somebody is that you know, yeah you know it's another way of uh, you know, yeah helping them to word it. Um, it you know helping and also uh, you know any sorts of that I'm like you pay by say that yeah yeah. If it's going to be like any source of volunteer type work or something like that, you know, for volunteering. But, you know, on the hand, that, that when we think about support, though, that uh, if we want to call us this toward, yeah, well, when we show support, though, that uh, it's basically another way of stating is toward that, uh, you know, you're guiding somebody and also giving them directions. I'm like, well, really, why can't you do some of those tasks? Like, uh, well, you know, I'm like, here's the thing, you know, that, uh, it sure seems that way to word it, uh, that, yeah, that, you know, people might even say, too, that, you know, really, that if they just don't really have the time to take care of the of those tasks, or if anything, that, that you know, yeah, that, you know, really are, is it basically another way of saying this to word it, yeah, well, we really, we really actually uh, want to give somebody else that type of experience to where what it's like, you know, just to be able to do the job, or, you know, just to be able to take care of that that task, you know, uh, so certain situations like that, but you're still at that, uh, but mainly I think it's really about understanding the language, because I know a lot of times, like everybody else will probably say too, that um, whenever you're going to be talking to somebody in person compared to talking to them by text message, it sure seems that way that a lot of people would probably say that, yeah, well, whenever you talk to somebody by text, you know, they're not able to see, uh, all these pictures right here, they're not able to really see to understand uh, all what's going on about what you're referring to. So like any source of a, of a letterhead or artboard or anything like that or a chalkboard or something like that, that you, you know, where they can see to understand just a little bit what you're talking about. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that um, that if you were to uh, maybe set like a profile image to word it, yeah, if you see... Uh, this picture right here, and then you see like a few discussions right there, and uh, let's just say that uh, people are saying to where another way of how you want to show support though is that to where that uh, that yeah you know that there's a group of I'm like yeah a group of a uh, uh, thirty people there are thirty people and then uh, one speaker. One speaker, and also, uh, you know, one worker. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. I, I'll even talk about, my, you know, talk about what the rules are, my, but, but still, like in case of anybody that may ask me, I'm like, yeah, if that's another thing, yeah, another thing that I want to discuss too, but talk about what the rules, I'm like, if we could set the rules, you know, for anything that we... I'm like, yeah, you know, well, what are rules really measured by? Well, really, that, uh, 
you know, uh, before a rule is required, of course, there's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to maybe be these constants, there's going to be these meanings about for who uh, agrees on what to word that, you know, what the rule, like, yeah, yeah, I'll go and say it right here, buddy, that, you know, talk about a rule, though, um, what, what does a rule basically mean is to word it, uh, it's basically, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I can go and put on here, it's an order, you know, for what, uh, needs, um, to, uh, meet the needs. So if we could say that right there, you know, needs for like any, I'm like, yeah, that meets the needs. And I'm going to put that, you know, S right there for meets, uh, meets the needs right there. But you're know, still, that does. So I guess another way of how you want to call a rule to work or an order for what meets the needs. So let's just say that if we could set our own ground rules for something, what do you think that that would be necessarily? I'm like, well, really, that, uh, you know, maybe one of them could be respect and honesty, but then also that, uh, you know, rules that maybe people say is to worry, yeah, well, really, that, uh, you know, certain rules and certain guidelines that do apply, maybe that uh, people see results to where that, you know, the only way that this is going to work, maybe if that rule is applied. So, so a lot of times, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, another way of how you want to describe a, wor a rule is, I'm like, that's another way of how you want to describe a voice to where that, yeah, a voice is to where that, you know, for who's, Who's the manager? Who's the captain? You know, who's managing the, the work and process? So it's like, yeah, it's it's a it's basically uh, another way of stating is to word it, yeah, that this is how uh, that the work uh, you know, the work is going to be you know be done just by following these directions. It's it's like another, it's kind of like a just a little bit like an executive order. And I know I talked about before about executive orders and all, but but still that. Uh, that like uh, we if we all think about that to word it uh, you know it's another way uh, of how you want to call it uh, for what meets the needs also and and also anything else uh, that we want to refer to word it the only way that this is really going to work is knowing is if we follow those guidelines and uh, so a lot of times it's like yeah you know when when we show support for somebody it's another way of how you want to show is this to word it yeah one person um who's working that task. But then there's about 15 people who are watching you work and people who are actually uh, giving you some advice. So, so yeah, you know, uh, showing support and guidance is, uh, like I say, it's opposite uh, compared to, uh, you know, any source of, uh, like, uh, you know, yeah, that, that, you know, people might even say, too, is to word that, you know, yeah, whenever you show support for somebody, that it's the opposite compared to you know, any, any source of criticism or anything like that or anybody who uh, who does not agree with any decisions made or anything like that, or that you know we want things to work our way and you know we want things we suggest things to be done our way you know that sort of saying, but so it sure seems that way that uh, when we show support right here, it's another way of also saying is to where that you're trying to um, get uh, someone uh, to. Uh, understand um, that yeah that you know one person um one person is uh working um on uh, this task while others um while 15 I'll just say uh like while 30 other people I'll just say that you know, while 30 other people The 30 other people, uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, say something like that. Your 30 other people are giving um, suggestions um, again, advice, uh, advice, uh, suggestions, and advice uh, about uh, what. Um, is it really, um, you know, for what is really going going on with uh, with the work your pro with the work dead and all the dead and so so a lot of times that uh, we probably thinking too that you know yeah that you know when we think about support though that uh, it's basically another way of saying this to where you know, yeah you know people uh, 
who are not against, you know, the work that you do, that they're willing to show more kindness and respect for what you do and ability for what you do. And also that another way of how you want to call this is I'm like, oh, yeah, to word it, uh, you know, that they're you know, kind of like uh, on, you know, standby to word that, you know, yeah, you know, if we're talking about 30 people on a team, right? But then those 30 people, of course, are not able to uh, be there or if anything that they don't have... Uh, access to all the information so it's another way of how uh you know this company i'll just say you know it's uh you know i can say the company but i guess uh, we could also look at like you know for a team though uh, that you know that you know that one person that one person um one uh personnel yeah for that that one um Person, you know that one personnel, you know, who uh, who can uh, do uh, the job, uh, you know, who uh, are uh, taking um, the advice um, from others, you know, or from from the team. I'll just say from the team. So a lot of times when we think about that, though, we talk about for support and then also understanding about you know, what's going on with the, the typical mind thinking right there. And uh, we're probably thinking, too, is to where the, when we think about the brain, though, that uh, we necessarily think about, okay, the big headache. You know, a lot of everybody else might even say that uh, it's called a headache or, you know, a migraine or any source of a, a fever or the matter. But like anybody say, too, like, yeah, a lot of... The tension in the nerves and you're inside of a typical mind thinking, you know. But so like in case of anybody that may ask me too that uh, that, you know, yeah, that whenever we think about support, though, that, that you know, you think about is, is to where you got somebody else there who's, uh, you know, who who's basically, you know, yeah, showing their their, you know, yeah, their courtesy and respect, you know, for what you do. And so, so it's like, yeah, so if we're talking about. That, that, you know, for how much uh, that you, that we support, you know, something. And like, so, like anybody say, is to where to, oh, yeah, you know, you're pretty much, you know, you're on the same team and you're willing to show, uh, you know, you're willing to give uh, assistance. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, you're helping somebody uh, with something. And also, I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, I can also uh, write on here is to where to, you know, you're pretty much, uh, you know, you're helping, um, you're helping someone, um, With um, the basic um, for um, what um, needs um, to be explained. So really, that uh, a lot of times people might even say to you that yeah, well you know really that uh, you know for the most part that uh, you know whenever we think about support though. That, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, somebody, you know, you're counting on somebody to do, to work on something or to do something a lot of times. And half the time you want to know, too, that, you know, really, that why is it that that person cannot do the job or why is it that they can't take care of it? Well, you know, it sure seems that way. That if we're, if we're talking about talking to somebody by text message or maybe if we're talking about somebody there in the lab, somebody there in the office... Or maybe anything such as what you call, you know, maybe a program to where that, yeah, yeah, if we're talking about maybe voc rehabilitation, or maybe if we are talking about maybe government assistance or something like that, or maybe, you know, assistance through the, you know, through the state, you know, state programs and all that. So people might say is to where that, yeah, well, you know, yeah, that, um, that we all need to know too, that, you know, is to where that most of the time, though, know, people will say that, yeah, well, a lot of these programs, are available to those who need it, and like he says, to where they just try to think about this to where it that it would be, uh, it's not as hard. Maybe if you get a little bit more support, and like you know, yeah, somebody that you know and trust who's willing to uh, to take good care of uh, the work in progress, somebody that you you know, somebody to take care of your stuff, and also knowing you know, who's willing to do the job. So, a lot of times, it sure seems that way that uh. When uh, we think about support, though, a lot of times, that uh, it sure seems that way. That you know, number one, though, if it's really 
about you know getting to know uh, other people, getting to know what people are doing and how people think, and you know getting to know the community especially. So let's just say that uh, if I can go and put on here, talk about for the community. Um, you know, when we think about the community, though, we also think about your know, people. Uh, people uh, we uh, talk to about the. Uh, the agendas, and I guess I, I can go and just put on here for agenda, uh, the people we talk to about the agendas, right, about the agenda, and then I go ahead and put a comma right there, and uh, I'll just go and put on here, is that, uh, you know, yeah, for for those, I'm like, I talk about for the agenda, so we'll just say that, um, that if you're talking to maybe five other people, and people are going to have their own opinions about certain things, right, but it sure seems that way to where... That, that, you know, yeah, if there's going to be uh, one job, one job, but then 30 people uh, in the community uh, who have, uh, who want to speak up about something. And uh, so it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, uh, people might even say that, yeah, well, you know, if you're only able to hire two people for the job, if you're only able to hire two people to do this job, and maybe that there's maybe 30 people all together that want to speak up about something or any issues that come up or, you know, anything like that, you know, to discuss and all that. So it sure seems that way that a way, another way of how you want to describe for support, though, and you're probably thinking is toward a yeah, well, really, that uh, when we think about the, the brain right here, what exactly is it that we're thinking about necessarily? Are we thinking about the brain or, you know, the, the, the mind and, you know, we thinking about necessarily toward it, yeah, well, you know, really, that, that especially when we dream, when, when we dream about things, though, especially, like anybody say, too, that, you know, when we dream about something, is to where that's really about in the nerves, or, I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, people may think it's toward it, yeah, yeah, the nerves, and, uh, you know, the emotional thinking, so when we think about that, though, that um, when we dream, though, about things, though, that well, what's the best way of how to explain about what we dream about? And uh, you know, say that, you know, yeah, concerns and maybe worries or anything else that we want to think about especially. But uh, how many of us will maybe think is toward our really, our, is our dreams really telling us anything? Are they really telling us uh, something is toward it? Something, uh, something, uh, you know, yeah, something... Um, to predict, um, predict it in, um, in the future. So let's just say it sure seems that way that, um, you know, whenever we think about dreams, though, most of the time, that it seems like it's all about predicting something that could possibly happen in the future. It's like, it's, it's another way of how you want to call it. It's like, you know, these, uh, you know, these thinking thoughts and, you know, these kind of like just a little bit, maybe, you know, maybe just a little bit of warning signs or something like that. But when we think about, when we dream, though, that a lot of times people may say is to where they, yeah, dream. That when we dream that we predict, right? And when we predict, it's also another way of stating is to where it's something that possibly that could happen in the future. But when you also, when we think about a nightmare, though, and like anybody thinking is to where is to where they, yeah, a nightmare, though, is to where they, you, you, see, you see things in uh, your nightmares and, uh, it's another way of thinking as to where the, yeah, you know, you see uh, things in your nightmares. And like I say, a lot of times, what your nightmares usually tell you? To, so I guess uh, if you want to kind of call us as to where the, uh, whenever we, whenever we think about that, dreams, though, and possibilities a lot of times, and nightmares, though, that uh, do we necessarily think about us as to where the, yeah, a nightmare basically means as to where the, um, that it's something that, that we get really up, uh, you know, concerned about, and then we get worried about, and a lot of times that, that whenever we think about as to where if we're going to be writing any sorts of notes or any sorts of journal, you know, talk about storytelling, you know, if we're thinking about maybe even poetry, that uh, we start talking about something that comes to our minds, right? And a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, you know, anything that's a uh, concern to you or anything that you're worried about. And so it sure seems that way that, uh, 
that yeah, that you know, you talk to somebody about something, something that you dreamed about, maybe about a month ago, that you know, it just comes to your mind, and you start talking to somebody about it, and uh, maybe they had no clue of what you're talking about until you actually explain to them about you. Know, I had a dream, you know, one night that you know, yeah, you know, it was, it was about uh, a relationship, or it was about. That uh, we were actually uh, talking, we were actually talking, we were at a reunion, and then we were actually talking about something. And at some point, uh, so a lot of times, people might even want to know too is toward it. Uh, you know, is that's really another way of how you want to show uh, uh, how, how do you want to explain psychology and social working and also support that they were that somebody tells you about a dream that they had, but then they're just trying to better understand it as to where they, you know, how can I really explain? About my dream, though, uh, you know, I was dreaming that we were actually talking about something, and that uh, you know, while we were asking questions, but then of course it it really never happened. And uh, but still, that um, so people might even say too that um, that yeah, that if you want to go ahead and show support by people say is toward you, you start talking about a subject matter, and let's just say if you start talking about maybe a story, I'm like you know, yeah, you know, if you want to start out. The conversation by saying is to where that uh, you know in my dream that I was actually talking to somebody uh, who was actually a storyteller and I was asking them questions, and a lot of times it's like you know it's stuff that you know that never happened. It's something it's over something that never happened. But let's just say though that uh, you know the stuff uh, that has happened and you want to know too is to where the things that you try to remember and say the things that you try to follow up with and all that. But let's just say that. Um, if you want to talk about that, you know, yeah, in case of anybody say that, you know, talk about for a dream, right? But, you know, well, really, what do our dreams really tell us necessarily? And uh, people might say is to a really that um, our dreams are just another way of thinking about is to where the possibilities for the future, right? But then also, are they giving us any sort of transmedical signal to where that that's something to protect in the future to where that this is a... You know, just to build, I'm like, yeah, you know, just to uh, predict something from happening or if it's about just telling us about, you know, uh, what really, what what are our overall concerns of the matter to where it, uh, you know, for what, uh, what are the important possibilities, you know, coming up in the next, uh, you know, days ahead. So we could also think about that. And all I can say is to where, the, you know, yeah, is our brain... Really, the, t the, t the comical thinking is toward you know, anything that we think about. And like anybody might even say, too, that, the, yeah, well, anything that comes to your mind, really, it's really just all in the thoughts. It's not really, it's not something that's really going to happen. Or if anything, that, um, that if you're going to, you know, it's like uh, anybody say is toward it, um, anything really to be really worried about, concerned. But... On the other hand, though, that uh, when we think about support, though, we can also think about is that toward it um, that you know whenever you talk to somebody about something, though, that uh, you know you're not only uh, talking to them and maybe giving them some advice and some ideas, right? But then also uh, you're just kind of getting uh, like a this, uh, you know, like yeah, you you just kind of like uh, getting some, you know, I'm like, yeah, getting some ideas about us is toward it, yeah, whenever you talk to somebody about something, that, um, ways of how to be able to improve uh, the work is toward it, you know, whenever you get ideas, and, you know, like, yeah, whenever you show support for somebody, especially, you know, are you really necessarily thinking that, that um, that people are really counting on you just to be able to develop new ideas and new more experiences and also about this toward it uh you know yeah that you know certain data that maybe that uh, somebody does not have access to so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh that yeah whenever you show support for somebody that it's another way of how you want to show respect right and so i guess i can you know like yeah you know another way of how you want to show it's like you know, show respect your know, kindness and respect Yeah, and respect, and uh, so a lot of times that uh, when we think about that is toward it, yeah, well, really, that uh, that instead of arguing all the time and instead of uh, having these uh, discussions, all uh, having these discussions about, you know, for like anybody else will probably say too, that, uh, that you know, whenever you do uh, show respect for somebody, 
that it's another way of how you want to cause is toward that you know you are you know you are willing to uh, give them advice and do, I'm like yeah so it's it's another way of how you want to show is this toward that you know, we're not against anything that you're doing or we're not really trying to argue with you about what needs to be done we're actually showing I'm like oh, yeah you know toward that we're on you know we're we're actually uh, it's another way um, of how you want to call us is toward that while you're working know that there's other people who are actually reviewing your work and actually looking and then uh, you know listening to what you're working on right so I guess another way of how you want to show support though is another way um of showing you know like yeah the kindness respect and honesty right but then also that uh, while you're working on something though that uh it's it's about another way of how to say is this to where it's it's not as hard you know not as hard as hard as it was before So let's just say that uh, that whenever you first start working on a task, right, it seems like it's a lot harder than uh, you know what it was before. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, do you think that uh, you know it would uh, be advised as toward you know yeah you know something that could be a lot easier maybe if you show support you know for for something. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that while you're working on something though. That it seems like that it could be a lot easier, maybe if you show a little bit more support for some, you know, for somebody on something. So, so a lot of ways, it sure seems that way. That um, that when we think about support, though, and people might even say that, yeah, well, really, that uh, you know, a lot of times it all starts by saying this to word that uh, really that it was my idea, you just to be able to come up with that solution. You know, well, really, I came up with the solution. I came up with those encouragements and I came up with those ideas and suggestions and all that. And so why should you be liable for taking doing this job other than the fact about, you know, one candidate that's picked for that job and then knowing about you for how many people who are going to be supporting it. And uh, so it sure seems that way that to word it. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, when we think about... Uh, Support though, it's it's another way of saying this to where that there's more people on a team. You know that yeah, there's people on a team, but then of course that there's one task, and that that one task of course is going to require a lot, a concentration, a lot of con, you know, uh, consideration on it. So let's just say that uh, there's one task, and let's just say that there's one candidate that's going to be picked for that job, but then uh, how many supporters are going to be supporting you know that person? You know, for that job, and so it seems like that that's all about the question to where that um, that whenever you do uh, start working on something, and let's just say that if somebody were to say is to where that yeah, well, really that uh, you know, for how many people uh, who have more confidence than maybe than others about working a task, right? But still, that uh, you know, whenever we show support for something, that uh, it's also another way of stating is to where that. Uh, that you know, you're willing to help out with the process, and you're also willing to, uh, to you know, yeah, you know, show courtesy and respect to where the, you know, yeah, that you know, we're you know, I am willing to, uh, to uh, make it you know, like to where the, you know, yeah, you know, like uh, another way of how to uh, exaggerate what I'm talking about is, is to where it whenever something was a lot harder at the very beginning. But then, whenever people realize the situation and realize that, the, that there's only one person who is able to do that job, and if anything, one person who's able to develop the ideas, one person who's able to uh, come up with the work and process, and all. So let's just say that um, you know, yeah, one person. So I can put on here for one person, one person. Yeah, one person who uh, is assigned. So, like in case of people may want to know too, that you know, yeah, that that that's not really a team though. But let's just say though, that if you had a team supporters, but let's just say that if one person, it's one person right there, who uh, who is assigned a challenge. What well, one person who is assigned a challenge 
one person who is assigned a challenge, but uh, the, the team Yeah, team who shows support. So it's basically another way of saying this toward the, yeah, that, uh, you know, they don't really have, uh, you know, yeah, that they're, you know, uh, you know, another way of how you want to explain this is about is toward the, yeah, you know, you got somebody else who's monitoring, you know, who's looking at the work and keeping an eye on the situation and also asking the questions and uh, one person who's actually uh, kind of uh, keeping an eye and being aware of what the situation is and also just to get a better understanding and a better clue of what the situation is. So it sure seems that way to where that, uh, that, yeah, you know, for what comes uh, to those difficult challenges. You know, if it's one person or if it's going to be a, a team of maybe 30 people who are going to be working, you know, at a, t a tough challenge, a tough task. And all. So a lot of ways it sure seems that way to where that, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, it's not the same thing. It's, it's not the same thing as what you call for, you know, for who uh, could be against. You know, for who, who could be against, um. You know, for who uh, that could be, um, for who could be against, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to spell it here, everybody, but, you know, yeah, for, for who could be against, um, oh, uh, I keep getting suggests here, but, uh, you know, still. Yeah, for against. Anyway, um, alright. I'm trying. I know it's your Any Anyway, I'm trying to get that word up, but you know, still that uh, you know for who. Um, you know, for, for who, um, you know, another word of how you want to describe you know, for against, but I, I know it, you know, like you say, you know, like, uh, you know, well, why does against seem to be a complicated word? Uh, yeah, I don't understand that, but, you know, anyway, uh, but, uh, you know, still, that, um, uh, again, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, for anybody, uh, for who, um, who has a disagreement, Yeah, against. Okay, that's how you spell it. Yeah, you know, anybody who's, uh, who has a, who has a disagreement about something, you know, for, you know, that they're against it. So, uh, so I guess that that's another way, uh, if you want to call it, you know, the opposite, you know, the opposite of, uh, support. And, uh, so I guess it's like, say, you know, yeah, for against, but, uh, suggestions and then comments. And, uh, so I guess, uh, that's, uh, another one, like, you know, for why that, but, you know, still for against, but anyway, uh. But you have right here of uh, talking about right here of uh, knowing about is toward that um, when we show support for something though that uh, when we show support though that nobody's gonna be against that and uh, it's another way of how you want to cause is toward that uh, get a better um, better understanding about um, something. And also, you know, yeah, that, you know, for guidance, it's, uh, you know, yeah, for, for guidance. Yeah, guidance. So, so I'll, I say, yeah, guidance. But anyway, I, I thought I'd go and write a few, of but I mean, still, I try to try to talk about, you know, for against, but, you know, anyway, um, I know I was trying to figure it out, but, you know, anyway, uh, 
you know, try, try to spell like, oh, yeah, in case of anybody that may want to know, too, that, uh, you know, words that you're just trying to think of on top of your mind and you want to know, too, that, you know, can you really think of certain words and, you know, you're trying to say them and sometimes whenever you're trying to say them and they don't always come out clearly, you know, that, that sorts of stuff. But anyway, but uh, but talk about, you know, for, uh, you know, for support, though, that uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way. That whenever you first start a conversation with somebody, even by text message, it sure seems that way. That, you know, you start talking about stuff and in a lot of ways it seems like that is toward, you know, that, yeah, well, I know what you mean whenever you say that. You know, I know exactly what you mean. So a lot of times it seems like that, uh, you know, we probably say is toward you start the conversation is toward, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Um, You know, I know what you mean by say is to like maybe quote is, it's like I know what you're saying. You to where I, I have been there. I've been there. You know, I have. Um, I have the experience. And uh, you know, yeah, you know that you know acknowledgement. So it's another way of how you want to cause is to word it um, that yeah you know you uh, you know, does really does anybody really have to explain any more you know Michael do do you really have to uh, do you really have to explain any further with a, a situation that comes up you know rather than the people uh, you know, say is where they got you know they they understand a lot now you know, just because that they're able to read a, a lot of the activity that goes on. And they were able to understand a lot of the, the story. You know, like, you could, knowing the bias is toward it, yeah, well, really, that uh, if people have a, a better understanding of uh, what the situation is now, just because that, uh, you know, that they're able to uh, read and understand uh, what the, the situation was. And so that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, when we think about the mind and typical thinking, you know, that you're not really in others, in somebody else's shoes until you're able to realize. And I understand what the situation is. And so that's why it sure seems that way. That um, Why do we think that psychology and social work or and any, any of those studies are real important? It's, it's all about, about how other people feel. So it's about, yeah, yeah, the community. Yeah. You know, how people feel. It's about that, you know, how, uh, you know, how people feel. Yeah, how others, um, how other people feel. So it's basically like, yeah, you know, emotion. And, um, so it, it's another way of how, you know, like this typical study of science of, uh, of support, right? And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that, um, how others feel, how others uh, feel. So when we think about that, though, that, you know, when we're trying to read somebody's mind and when we're trying to understand somebody else or what their, you know, situ what their situation is and what they're trying to do and what they're trying to improve and all that, and half the time it sure seems that way, that uh, when we're trying to read that data, especially, you know, reading from our devices, such as if it's going to be a smartwatch, if it's going to be an, an, a Fitbit or any source of calculate uh, reader or something like that. So when we when we think about that from all the devices that we're thinking about that are transmitting signals, you know, from the brain and the a couple mind thinking and all that, that uh, you know we're also thinking about is this toward it uh, that you know really that uh, that you know when we think about that though is that yeah well really that uh, maybe not everybody's able to look and realize what is it that you're looking at, what is it that you're working on, and so that's why it sure seems that way. That when we think about psychology and social work, you know, and also support, though, that, um, it, you know, should it really be, you know, should it also be about, is toward it, uh, that, you know, people are able to look at what you're looking at. You know, they're able to see what you see, and they're able to understand what you understand, and then they're also willing to give you some good advice and guidance toward what's really strongly recommended and what needs to be done 
and uh, what that you know to the, just to kind of be aware of the situation and all that. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, you know really should that really should anybody probably think about that to where that you know whenever you show support for somebody though that you know should that really be uh, I don't know about an allowance, but then also you know, should that really be about as a fact about you know a source of credit to where you go ahead and give somebody credit just for you know, doing something or just for understanding something a little bit more, just for doing something. So a lot of times, when we think about jobs, though, do we necessarily think about is this to where the yeah jobs, you know jobs or just another way of saying this to where that, yeah, you go ahead and lead that responsibility with somebody else, or are we necessarily going to be thinking about is this to where that, yeah, well, you know, for those, uh, for that somebody who has better intelligence, or yeah, they can figure it out, well, I'll go ahead and lead that responsibility on them to figure it out, or something like that, so a lot of times, it sure seems that way, that when we think about uh, support, though, support can be explained in uh, many other ways, you know, I'll be quite honest with you, I'm like, so many ways to the point to where the half the time, if you want to know call it the sequel, huh? You know, you show support, you know, support and guidance, support plus, you know, support advanced features or something like that. So, in half the time, it sure seems that way that when we think about the typical signs, though, that um, when we think about support, though, that it's another way of how you want to call is to where that, uh, yeah, you know, when we stay, when we study about. The mind, though, whenever we study about the brain, though, that it's another way of how you want to cause this to where the, yeah, you know, the one study that I've been trying to think about is about how to read people's minds, you know, how to read people's thoughts and ideas, and a lot of times it sure seems that way, that most of the luck that I have had here lately has actually been, uh, is to where that whenever you, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, whenever you do, uh, Read the papers. Whenever you read the papers, and maybe that uh, you know, yeah, how are you able to read people's minds and interactions just by as to where okay, you just assume something for the better, right? But let us say though that uh, if you try to uh, think about that, to where the, yeah, you go ahead and start a conversation with somebody, and then you just start maybe asking them questions, and uh, maybe if you just start kind of like you know saying a few words, and then uh, you know like I say, yo, just I'm like yeah, you know. You just to get a better clue of what they're going to say, and you probably say is to where the yeah, yo, you just you, know, you just guess something, or you just go ahead and just blur out something, and people say that that's not what I said. I don't know who told you that, and so a lot of times it's like yeah, I'm sure we've all been there when we start a conversation with somebody. It's like you know that's not what I said. I don't know who told you that. You know that that's not okay. You know whoever that told you, I'm like really. I actually, and I'll even tell everybody here, to be quite honest with you, everybody, that uh, whenever I have conversations with somebody, I really don't want to get in a conver- you know, get in that discussion about who told me what, what was said, or whichever, because some of my information that I think about is actually, that I think about, you know, I actually uh, think about the thoughts in my mind before I actually write them down, and before I even talk about them to somebody else, so... It sure seems that way. It's like the back and forth conversation to where conversations can go either, you know, can go opposite ways. Conversations can go back and forth. But really, what do we call that? Call that study. Do we call that data science? Do we call that psychology? Or do we let necessarily think of us as towards a trading back and forth, you know, studies? And I'm like, you know, so, so like, you know, I really don't know if there's really a name of that subject in a matter, but talk about the you know, typical science, you know, the typical, you know, understanding about the brain's creativity, right? The study about the brain. But on your hand, too, that when we think about the study, about what people are thinking, what people, what the computer's interactions are, and then the, the data science, are, you know, like, you know, what people are thinking necessarily. And uh, when we think about that, though, and like I say, that, yeah, well, really... It's just person, somebody looking at the work right here, somebody looking at this image right here, and what exactly are they thinking about whenever they think about that? And then uh, if you're going to be talking to somebody about something, and people are thinking too that, you know, really, that, uh, you know, okay, yeah, I understand a little bit of what you're talking about, or, you know, yeah, I, uh, if that right there is supposed to be the brain right there, but still, that, uh, but I have right here this, uh, this little, uh, 
you know, diagram right here of example right here of a mind thinking, you know, you know mind thinking, you know, image right here. And, and uh, we're probably thinking too that, um, that when we think about support though, it's another way of saying is toward, you know, yeah, you know, you're willing to show, uh, you know, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you're willing to help guide somebody on, uh, you know, taking care of a job. And, uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that, yeah, you know, if it's really, uh, if it's really good to go ahead and show support to somebody who really needs the assistance at the time and, and day whenever they need it, you know, compared to criticizing all the time or compared to being against something all the time. And so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, is the job really going to get done if you, if we just keep criticizing and uh, especially whenever we just, if we just keep going against them, if we are for against almost everything else, uh, you know, but still, it, uh, the typical mind thinking would probably say is toward that really though, that, um, if we're going to be mad about something all the time, then really, what is that really showing everybody else if we're going to be mad all the time about something? So that's something to really think about, too. That if we're going to be mad all the time about something, then what does that really teach somebody? And what does that really, uh, you know, how far are we really getting whenever if we're going to be mad all the time about something? So that's why it sure seems that way, that whenever we show support and intelligence for something, that um, it's another way... Uh, of how you want to say this is toward it, yeah, well, uh, best wishes and best luck or something like that, but still, that, um, that also, that, um, we could probably think about too, is toward it, you know, yeah, think about, you know, try to think about somebody else, I'm like, yeah, a lot of times whenever I think about psychology and social work, I'm also showing caringness for others, you know, you want to show caringness, So I, uh, I'll go and put it right there. I'm like, oh, yeah, for caring. Caringness. You know, you, know, you want to show that you care. And uh, so I go, oh, yeah, you know, for caringness. You know, for caring. Uh, so, so, yeah, if you, uh, whenever you do uh, care, you know, share caring. You know, uh, I'm trying to think of it, but still, you know, I can put, maybe put like a go over right there. But, you know, yeah, you know, showing uh, about is this toward you, know, you know, that you care and uh, toward that you know, yeah being helpful. Helpful advice uh, to someone who um, is. Um, For assistance. So a lot of times, whenever I think about psychology and social work, a lot of times, it sure seems that way toward it. You know, yeah, you know, you don't, uh, a lot of things that maybe I'm like, yeah, you know, you, uh, the first thing that you think about whenever you're trying to work on something and maybe trying to do something that you actually think about somebody else, you know, like, uh, yeah, well, you know, a lot of your emotional thoughts is that, you know, really, I don't like this, but, you know, of course, you're willing to do this uh, this task just because you're willing to think about somebody else. And a lot of times, it sure seems that way to word it. Yeah, whenever you're working on something, though, that the, the first thing that you're going, that's going to come to your mind, though, is normally, uh, you know, I would not be doing this, but, you know, just to be able to show more support and more effort, though, and it just to show is to word it. I'm just, uh, I'm thinking about somebody else, too. I'm thinking about how much I, I care for somebody and how much... Uh, love and support that I can give to somebody else. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about jobs though, that, that you'll know, try to think about that toward it. Uh, you know, not only are you really setting aside, set a time aside, you know, from what you got to take care of, but then also you're willing to show, you know, uh, support for somebody else just by as to where being, you know, being some assistance for somebody else. And so it sure seems that way that, um, uh, when we think about that, though, that, um, that, you know, people might say is toward it, really, even though you may not think that it's not your job, you know, just to do something like that, but still, that, uh, you know, for any helpful advice, though, that you can maybe give, and people may say is toward it, yeah, well, if you want to kind of call it a pat on the back, and maybe a little bit of, like, you know, the gift of kindness and all, but still, that, um, but really, though, that, um, 
at the time, I also want to know, too, that uh, people might say that, you know, yeah, while you were sleeping, you know, while you were sleeping, that this is the work that was that was been done. So let's just say that, yeah, while uh, you uh, were sleeping, you know, while you were sleeping, that uh, work um, that um, has improved. So it's like another way of how you want to call this to where, yeah, you know, while you were sleeping, the work has been improved. So, so anybody who's uh, maybe going to be asking the questions about as to where another way, if you want to call it, call it support, though, is to where, yeah, while you're resting, that the part of the work has already been done for you. And uh, so if you people may say is to where if you want to kind of call that just a little bit of a relief and also... About, I'm like, yeah, you know, relief, um, a relief and talk about for healing. So it sure seems that way that, um, the work of the process also. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that whenever you're working on some of your work, you know, you try to focus mainly on what you like and what you want to do, but still, almost all the time, though, know, that uh, while you're working on something, it sure seems that way, that, you know, what do you think that your audience is, that your audience is thinking about? What is it that you think that, that, that maybe, you know, somebody else is somebody else that looks at your work on what exactly are they thinking about? And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way, that, um, that you know, uh, is there a typical mind-thinking just a little bit similar, or maybe a little bit of the opposite, you know, or anything like that. But still, that uh, I just really think though that uh, that whenever you show support, though, uh, that uh, it's like say that is toward the yeah, trying to make the work a little bit more easier for them, even though that, that they might say is toward that the first time that you tried, it was a lot harder than what you thought it was, and so it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, the whole goal right here. Is really you know to, to, you know not to, to make it um, to make uh, those tasks harder. So let's just say that uh, yeah you know try not to make it harder, but uh, you know make uh, it easier. Try to make it easier. By guidance. So if you want to go ahead and and, uh, and help guide somebody on a task, and you're probably thinking too that you know, yeah, you know, whenever you show support and, and willingness and guidance, though, that you know, you're really, you know, yeah, you're giving advice, but then like anybody say too that uh, that uh, you know, whenever we uh, show support, though, it sure seems that way that uh, you know, most of the time, it's like, well, really, that. Uh, you know, any thoughts and ideas that you came up with at your own time? Are you willing to share those ideas with another individual, with another client? And uh, people might even ask the question, too, that the, why should I do that? You know, my ideas. My ideas are my, is my work. My ideas. Yeah, my stuff. So a lot of times that uh, your doctors might even say too that uh, you know whenever, whenever we talk about sharing though, whenever we talk about sharing though, go and put a period right there and like quotation right. Whenever we talk about share though, you know for sharing, I'll put sharing right here. But still, you know sharing. I'm like, why is sharing seems to be hardest to do? But still, that uh, whenever we think about yeah yeah, my ideas are my stuff, right? And uh, if somebody asks you to share something, it's another way, you know, about as to where other people can see them and allow it to where people can use them. And, uh, you know, any results to where people can actually see them, clients can actually see them and use them for anything that they got to take care of. So it sure seems that way that uh, people might even ask you to where the, you know, why should I, uh, you know, give you my stuff? Why should I share my belongings, my stuff, you know, so that way you can go ahead and take care of what you got to take care of. And uh, doctors might even say, well, really, that uh, you're just able to improve for the better. And um, so it sure seems that way that, um, 
you know, for improvement. So it seems like that, that, that that's really what this is all about right here, is that just to be able to improve the technology and just to be able to improve the work and the database that's collected uh, from the, the testing results and all that, that, uh, you know, it sure seems that way to where that, um, that, yeah, you know, leave it up to the professionals, leave it up to the archaeologists and, and uh, you know, yeah, yeah, the doctors and nurses and the scientists and, you know, the, the architectures and, you know, uh, others. And, uh, you know, so you're probably thinking, too, that um, that when uh, we think about that, about the turn about the support right here, that, uh, that, you know, most of the ideas that you come up with most of the time, it sure seems that way toward it. Uh, you know, maybe not everybody is going to agree with what you say, but then also you could probably think about that to where that, uh, you know, you're willing to share your ideas and thoughts with others just because that if that is something that maybe that uh, that person has not heard of or more likely that they'll say is to where that, you know, we don't know. Well, we don't know if it's going to work because we haven't tried it or if it, maybe if a lot of it would make more sense, maybe that if you... Uh, show more results or maybe if you do more testings and all so a lot of times it seems like it's all about the testing right and uh so it sure seems that way that um uh, based on experience and based on the studies though and all but so a lot of times it's like yeah when we think about the typical mind thinking no but still that um uh, but it sure seems that way that when we think about that though that um when we think about support though that it's like yeah that um that you know maybe not everybody is going to be, uh, you know, as bright as intelligent like everybody else. And so that's why it sure seems that way that, you know, yeah, that uh, when I we're thinking about that to word it, uh, hey, you know, whenever, you know, you're going to be uh, working on something and, you know, yeah, somebody else got hired for the job or something like that. But still, that, uh, that whenever you think about something, though, it sure seems that way half the time, though, that your your mind thinking may be different, you know, compared to somebody else's mind, and so that's why it sure seems that way, that, that that's why we probably thinking, too, that, you know, yeah, you know, whenever you think about things, though, and, uh, like, half the time, it's like, yeah, you know, for what you think about is going to be different from, you know, from the other person, and, um, so that's why it sure seems that way, that, um, whenever we show support, though, that, um, you know, we want to be, uh, op you know, we want to be open-minded, you know, we want to be flexible for letting other people speak up about what comes to your mind, what they're thinking about, and all that, so, so a lot of times it sure seems that way, that, uh, when we think about support, though, that, uh, you know, it's, it's basically another way of how do you want to show, uh, helpful tips and, and uh, suggestions and, uh, solutions for, solving problems you know that, that sorts of stuff you know for solving matters and um you know for solving you know yeah for a solution for solutions and then uh you know solving problems so like with me i'll tell everybody too yeah i got plenty of my own problems like everybody else will probably say too that uh, does everybody like dealing with problems and especially a lot of problems that have been there for a while, and you probably want to know too that not everybody likes dealing with problems because if you got plenty of your own problems to deal with and you don't like dealing with problems, but it sure seems that way that you know, yeah, that whenever problems come up most of the time, that uh, you know, a lot of times we probably thinking too that uh, you know, another word I would like to you know also mention too about problems, so is that problem solving, though, that uh, that really that um. That what uh you know, what all you know you can what I uh I can see uh, that uh, someone else uh, may not realize. So it sure seems that way that uh, it's all about you know yeah trying to get somebody to realize something right away compared to. Later on, you know, before something's too late, before the problem gets any worse, you know, something like that. So that's why it sure seems that way. It's about realizing, but then also, you know, another way of how you want to describe a problem you knows to where that you're able to, uh, you know, you're, you're able to, like, yeah, whenever you work with any sort of database or anything like that, a lot of things that you do see, uh, your problem solving you knows to where that you, know, you get 
you know, the, the bait, I'm like, yeah, the, the bait, I'm like, you know, now I don't know about the basics, but the word I'm looking for is really the confidence, uh, you know, yeah, confidence, um, the confidence, uh, about, uh, the feedback, you know, Mike, you know, yeah, about the, the typical mind thinking mainly, yeah. So I, I, you know, we all, we're all going to have our own opinion about something, but still, that, uh, you know, what comes to your mind whenever you see problems most of the time? You know, those broken pieces, those broken pieces are not going to be repaired. I'm like, you know, but still, that, uh, so whenever we think about problems, though, that, uh, you know, do we, you know, should we think about this to where that can those problems be fixed? You know, can, is there an easy uh, solution? Is there an easier solution? Is there a cure for that matter? And so that's why it sure seems that way, that when we think about problems most of the time, though, that whenever I look at the problems, though, most of the time, people might say that you, you most of the time, you think about the broken pieces. You know, that those broken pieces. Yeah, those broken pieces right there. Yeah, that those broken pieces that you know, need to be repaired. Um, And in order to be able to do that, that, um, yeah, you know, need to be repaired. And in order to be able to do that, that you have to, you know, you, you ha I guess you say observe. Um, you know, if you say, if you got to observe, study about what, uh, what's going on with them. So like a study and observe. And so I know that, that those were, a couple of those were the words I talked about earlier. So what, what do I mean by that? What I mean by is as to where do you look Look very closely at uh, the situation. Look, uh, look and think very closely. Um, at the situation. Look very closely at the situation. So a lot of times that uh, when we think about problems, a lot of times people might even say that, you know, yeah, does that kind of give you a better idea of what's going on or what uh, possibly a better, you know, solution on how to take care of that. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about that, though, that, uh, you know, whenever we think about a problem and a solution, no, that uh, you're probably thinking as to where the, yeah, well, that's not, that was not on the instructions. I'm like, yeah, the instructions that for what you got to follow had to be what you call provided. And, uh, but still, it, uh, so a lot of times, if you're going to be working a job, though, and let's just say if you come up with a solution that was not originally in that uh, in the instruction manual, or if, if we're talking about that was not in originally in uh, in the instructions given by the you know by you know by the the business, so like yeah, if you come up with an idea for a solution of something like that, and you're probably thinking too that if it was not originally. Uh, you know, printed, and uh, people might even say too that you know, really that uh, you know, do you think that maybe that that should be uh, added that you know, to the the uh, suggestions? Like if uh, a lot of people will say the uh, the FAQ to word that uh, you know, yeah, IQ readings to word that uh, that based on the results and the recordings and all that, you know, that were based on you know from the lab readings and all that. So, so a lot of ways it sure seems that way that uh, people might say that yeah, well, you know, your voice though. Is your voice really being prompted and recorded, you know, just for that way, so that way people can better understand what's going on with the situation on it? So, so in a lot of ways, it sure seems that way that when we first start working on something, that the first thing that you might think about is this to where, yeah, that's not going to do no good because I've already tried that before. I think I tried that already and it didn't work. And, you know, I don't think it's going to work. And, but still, that, um, on your hand, though, that, um, People might even say too that um, that when, when we think about advice, good support, and a good advice, though, is that uh, when we think about that the things that haven't worked though, or maybe that the things that could be improved later on, but still that uh, you know, come on, everybody, that um, whenever you first, if you're going to be experimenting around with something, especially though, whenever you look at a problem, though, the best solution for that problem is to think about it mainly is toward it. Uh, you know, yeah, that uh, if you're able to fix something, you know, really, a lot of times, you know, what, what, how do you feel whenever you do fix something? And I guess that, that's something to think about, too. Uh, you know, how do you, uh, you know, how do you, uh, you 
when uh, you fix something, you know, how do you feel? Yeah, how do you feel whenever you fix something? And uh, people might say it's toward it. Yeah, well, you know, I've done it before. You know, if that's what you're saying, or you, you can maybe also say something like, oh, well, you know, what I have to say is that, you know, really, I, you know, I really don't know if that's, if that's really professional. So that's the first thing that I would probably be thinking about. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind, you know, mainly, is that that's really professional. You know, when you fix something, you know, you may not fix it exactly right, but if you're able to get something to work, though, that, that you know, people might even say to you that, you know, that that's another way of showing is toward it, uh, that, yeah, when you're able to fix something, though, uh, that, you know, I kind of call that your know, genius, and I also kind of call that is, is toward it, my own per perspective is toward it, yeah, whenever you're able to get something to work, though, that, you know, if that's really something to be proud of. Uh, you know, a goal, and um, you know, is that really something to be proud of, such as a goal, an achievement? You know, so that, that's really something to think about. Whenever you're able to get something to work, whenever you're able to get something, like uh, everybody else would probably say too, the typical mind thinking about psychology and social work, though, uh, that 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 the ten things that make you happy and. A lot of things about you know, a lot of the accomplishments we could probably think about, and uh, you're probably thinking too that yeah, well you know, whenever it comes to uh, trying to get something to work, and you're probably thinking that yeah, well you know really that um, whenever we try to get something to work, especially uh, that we also think about that um, that yeah, well really that um, that it's really you know you learned at your own time, you learned independently and. Really, it was not in the instructions. If it was not in the instructions, and chances are that you didn't do it right. But people might even say too that yeah, well, you know, you you get some credit or you get some source of appreciation just for just for trying or just just for showing us you know how you're able to do that, you know how you're able to accomplish that. So a lot of times it's like yeah, yeah, try not be discouraged. You know, try not to be discouraged about anything. You know, if you do cut, you have. Some you know, ups and downs about certain things too. You know, like you know, some us, you know, your dis discouragement. If so far as for discourage, you know, what does that may basically mean? It's another way of how you want to describe you know, for disappointment. For disappointment, but then you know, what, but what's a what's another way of how you want to cause like for an achievement? So a lot of times it's like yeah, try to think about. About the achievements also. You know, besides the disappointments between the positive or the negative thinking or anything like that. But to just think about this toward the things that you were able to accomplish. You know, think about something that you worked hard at and that you, know, you were able to get it working. So it's like, you know, yeah, think about the goals and um, the things that you were able to get to accomplish, right? So... Now, that's really what I would think about, but, but still, that uh, anybody say, too, that, you know, really, that uh, when uh, we think about support, though, that uh, we also think about is, is toward, yeah, that, uh, you know, for guidance and respect, you know, for, you know, for people who really need, uh, you know, advice on how to, to take care of something, you know, it's, it seems like to me it's really, if it's really all about getting the job done, you know, if it's really all about is toward to get to know the community, you know, getting Getting to know somebody, you know, just kind of get to know the work and then the, the data. Oh, but, but the way I think about it too, though, that, that when we think about support, though, uh, you know, uh, the kindness and respect and, and honesty, right? But, but on your hand, that uh, the way we think about that, though, is like, yeah, you know, just the understanding a little bit about what people are thinking about. And uh, we probably thinking is toward it, yeah, you know, try to think about that is toward it, uh, that, yeah, you know, uh, how much hard work are you willing to put in, you know, to something and just knowing that how people see that hard work, you know, you probably think about it as to where, you know, just be surprised. And that's what I'll just go ahead and put on here, your job. Just be surprised. 
you you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna see. You never know what you're gonna get. You know. You 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 uh. You you may um. You you may just um. You 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 may not. Um, you you may just you may never know until. You um try uh to work harder. Work harder and then you'll know, talk to those you know, who are willing to give you give you support, you know. So so the way I think about it is you know, like yeah, just be surprised on uh, what accomplishments that you're able to put together there. And uh, so that's why it you know, something to be proud of, you know. But uh anyway I thought that you know tell everybody about that and I know it's long but uh Anyway, uh, but um, but I thought that people would like to see you know this right here, and just like you say, as toward it, you know, yeah, you know, for how people think about you know things, and you're reading somebody's mind and a typical mind thinking, you know, about how uh, we read somebody's mind, and people might even say too that really it's all about is toward it, um, yeah, whenever you read somebody's mind, um, whenever you read somebody's mind. That you know, you're basically are you know yeah you know toward the um that you know you uh you know yeah you assume but then also that uh, you know you know you're reading their emotions yeah their thoughts and emotions their thoughts um and emotions so a lot of times um uh, yeah you know if uh, if people are really are too shy to talk about something or really are too afraid to, to talk about something and then let's just say if you're talking to somebody and and then they don't say anything there first until you just make them feel more comfortable with talking about it and so it sure seems that way that uh, shouldn't that really be about what psychology and social work and typical support you know, should be about is, is to where the people somebody that may not say something right away or if anything that uh you know, just kind of give them a hug and, you know, just to kind of get a better understanding about, yeah, you know, the things that, that they went through. And um, and so that's why it sure seems that way that um, that whenever we think about that, though, is that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, it all starts by saying is toward it. Yeah, whenever you meet somebody that uh, you really want to have, uh, you know, your personal and private situation, but, you know, but still, that on your hand that... Um, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, people might even say that this is how uh, somebody meets. You know, they were able to find your work, you know, just by, you know, something that you were working on five years ago. And so it sure seems that way to where that uh, just to be able to uh, better the solutions and just to be able to better the progress. It sure seems that way to where that, uh, you know, you're probably thinking too that, um, then, you know, just to be able to show support, you know, for somebody just to you know, say support can be explained in many ways. But thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.